Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use Share Factory on PS4 to add an intro and an outro to your videos. And we're talking custom content here, not the default uh, templates they use. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our videos. I've already got them here, but you'll probably want them from a USB device. Uh, you have to put them in a specific folder. It tells you that when you try to import them. It's called Share Factory slash videos slash your content. So you just import them. As you can see, it'll load. Here's what's available on my USB device. I've already done it, but that's what you'll go through. Once it's imported, you can go into videos. You create a new project. And here we're going to say select uh, any theme we want. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using it. So I'm just going to deselect all of the content that it's got already registered and select my own. So I start with my intro, add the content I'm looking to use. This video is perfect, short, easy to edit. And then I'm going to put my outro here. Once I'm ready, I press square. I can rename my project. and I'm done. Then I continue and here we get into the meat of it. So we've got our video intro and the first thing I'm going to want to do is actually cut the start of this. So I'm going to press square on the video and trim clip. So I can use the left stick here to move in and once I've found sort of the right place I want I can use L1 and, R and L2 to find the right point. So this looks about right um, and uh, I'm just going to press X to validate this. So now when the video starts, I get my content just in the right place. Uh, I've already got my video, intro video here. All I want to do now is add a transition to make it smoother. By default, you'll probably be on the cinematic screen here. I want to go into dissolves and add a crossfade. Really simple. And I'm going to do the same on the main video. Dissolve, crossfade, oops, sorry about that. It asks you to confirm because it's actually going to uh, take a bit off the end of the video here, but that's fine in this case because we get a nice smooth transition. Oops, so now from the start, if I look at the video, and here we go. Look at that. Smooth. Just what I wanted. And it'll be the same here at the end. Victory. Isn't it perfect? So now all I've got to do is save the project and I can export it to whatever, uh, YouTube or whatever I want. Thanks a lot and uh, see you soon guys. Bye. 